morning. Uh, well, we stopped here for one night uh, at this little park in Connecticut on our way uh, from New Jersey to Boston. And uh, we're getting ready to hit the road. We got about 100 miles uh, until we get to Boston. <clears throat> 105, something like that. Uh, so we're getting everything ready, trying to set up the GoPro for some shots on the side of the camper and get packed up so we can go. So let's head to Boston. Stay with us, home on the hitch. pocket for me please oh what do you need this in your pocket uh-huh Grab the whole thing in there so you don't look so girl oh no, no it, does, I'm... it does match your outfit yeah you like my outfit i do i'm secure well i think at one point this had this was like the common picnic area uh, yeah but that's all this been... is a really cr um cool grove area and i've got some pictures um i'm sorry some i have some footage that i will toss in here uh, before everybody was here. So. The, these tent sites are great because they're so secluded, like you're just encapsulated yeah. in your little area, and it makes it such a great experience. They are, they're, they're very separated. Like you can look right there and see those tent sites, and, and they're like back, they, they got, got a little area carved out in the woods, and it's really nice. So this is a very, very big campground. As far as these sites over here where we're at, uh, on this side, every site's got like a swing in the back that's next to the fire pit. Uh, so that's really nice. Well, it's just cool enough. Yeah, it's about 58 degrees right now. No humidity. So you know what's really good is, is and I don't know if this place is always like it or, or like this or, or, or what, but so yeah, it's really good to see a lot of families spending a lot of time together and, and you can tell a lot of it's extended family too. And, and I feel like we didn't, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of that maybe going on before all this happened and kind of forced everybody's hand and slowing down. And, well, it's been nice to be able to have the kids there, you know, and you're able to concentrate your time together. And you have to look for new ways to entertain yourself, and, and then you start to enjoy yourself as a family again. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know, we've, we've experienced quite a bit with our girls and um, how great it is to have them at home for that period of time. And um, things that we've gotten to do together, and I think every, you see that here in the in this park, especially because there's so many families here. Lots, lots of all families. Of, all of the cabins are full. Uh -huh. All of the uh, well, the tent the tent camping is filling up really Very fast, quick, yeah. and uh, it looks like all of the RV sites are full. So this place is packed, and it's beautiful. And it's just rural enough that. It's the, really nice. It's kind of it's quiet. It's quiet. You don't have the bustle of the city. Right. Where you are. But you are very convenient to anything we're that about you might need. 15 to 20 minutes west of Plymouth, uh, about 35 minutes south of the actual city of Boston. Um, <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Go ahead. So yeah, that's a great. That's a nice tent site right there. I remember tent camping when I was a kid. And, oh, absolutely. Uh, and then we graduated to a pop-up camper. Yeah. And uh, I tell you, I really like the um, travel trailer yeah. RV life. Well, if you do it for a little bit of time, it kind of... Well, I've done a lot of backpacking and oh, camping absolutely. too. Backpack it, camping. It uh, can ruin tent camping. <laughs> yeah. Especially when it's hot, because I really like the air conditioning now. Oh yeah, especially that, and a giant bed. Oh. I just got the cutest 
picture of the dog with the lighthouse. Oh no. Make sure you follow her on Camper Doxy on Instagram. Hashtag Camper Doxy. All right, so here we are at the, oh, I'll get the name here in just a moment. Oh shit. Uh, the intention was to fly the drone out here because you can, but the wind is just blowing way too much for that. Old situate lighthouse. This is really cool. Oh man, it's pretty awesome. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. here and attended the lighthouse. It's a four bedroom house. And now these people own it. It's a private residence. Yeah. So, you know, it's somebody's residence now, which is kind of cool. I think it's probably pretty annoying for them. Hike all day and, and do six, seven, eight miles. And or, arches or, or whatever. Or and go then to you the can, city yeah, and, then and then you can, can come home and, and have take dinner. A shower, take a nice hot shower in your uh, own shower. You know? Right. Make your make your own food. Especially if you're taking a shower high in hours. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check out our shower video. <laughs> uh, <I'll link laughs> that, that shower. The shower is great. Yeah. It's got massage jets. It's great. I love it. So So if you haven't subscribed to us yet, please think about doing so and absolutely. hitting that like button. Give us a and, uh, thumbs up, give us a comment, because those things are, as little as they seem, those are the things that really, really, really help our us. channel grow right. the most, like is the likes and the, and the comments and the subscriptions. That's what lets us bring more content, so please do so if you like the content. Make sure you visit us at, at homeonthehitch.com. Oh, absolutely. And Instagram at homeonthehitchrv. Correct. Right. We have some really cool stickers available yeah, on we do have Home on the Hitch. So you should go check, check those out. So, so the only thing that's not open right now is the is the pillow jump. Yeah, they've got that deflated. But. So most of the places that we've been have been open, um, and there's lots of things to do, but. Things like the little shops that are that are very unique that you might want to go into, or um, some of the museums right. are, are closed. In fact, all of the national park systems um, amenities are closed, so there's no information or gift shops. Shuttles. Right. Like um, the, the North Church was closed. Right. It, uh, it didn't well. They have um, the, the KOAs seem to have uh, all the same, they get, <clears throat> like you get an email the morning that you're supposed to arrive and you can do an express online check-in and when you get there then... They have these outdoor um, check-ins available. Off over there there's a tent and there'll be somebody there and basically they confirm your info, charge your card and you don't ever have to get out of your vehicle so it works out well. I mean, I think everybody's Everybody's adapting. Everybody's trying to do a good job at 
still being able to have some semblance of living life and, and making memories and making every moment count and, and being being as safe as you can be. So actually this is I think the most KOAs that we've ever used. Especially um, in one visit. Or one trip. Yeah. yeah. Um, we typically don't. Um, but this one is, is really nice. Um, my mother was a, a uh, Girl Scout troop leader, and she took her troop to camp somewhere in North, I want to say, it was either in North Georgia, North Carolina, I don't know, it was on the top of a mountain somewhere, and I was probably seven or eight years old, and it seemed like it was nine years away, but it probably wasn't. I think it was North Georgia. And I went up, and I remember, yeah, that is pretty. What those pods are freezing to death in a tent because it turned so cold. <laughs> and my dad came and got me the next day and took me home because <laughs> it was very cold. That's hilarious. But look, these are like groups of families who have planned and come together this weekend and gathered around the campfire to enjoy to enjoy some more memories. Right. <laughs> Laughing, having a good time. You know what? That's if what you, life's about. If you, you can't know, do that. It's being able to take that moment. We all have stressors. Everybody has their own problems. But you've got to realize. It is what you make it. It is what you make it. And you've got to take advantage of the time that you have because I'll go around once and... And there's so many things that you can do, you know, to fit your budget. Like, you know, I mean, there's free camping, there's whatever, you know, whatever you want to spend, that's what's available to you. It you is. just have to do your research, Google it. Oh, it's no. got a donut. It's got a donut of shame. Oh, because it has a hurt leg. Oh, no. There's a lot to be said for, for you some know, of the camping clubs. We don't use Thousand Trails because we just there's not a lot around us. We don't have, it's mainly on the coast. Um, we do use Passport America. Passport um, America. That is we great use. for um, you know places on the Boone road. Boondockers Welcome we use, which is if you've never seen that, you need to check that out. Uh, we'll do another video on that. But we also plan through um, the RV Life. RV Trip Wizard yeah. and RV Life app, so you really need to check that out. Uh, it lets us plan and budget and do what we can do. And we know we can plan ahead of time and know what the budget's going to be. And so we know what we need to, to, to spend or to save. All right, here we are at home. <laughs> So thanks for joining us at Home on the Hitch. That's right.